is up, Average Golfers. Welcome back to Perfectly Average Golf, or welcome for the first time. Alan out here, a little bit of a weird recording on the intro. I actually already hit the drive, shh, don't tell anyone. And we're out in Ohio, wonderful, lovely Ohio. It's a gorgeous day, but for this front nine, I'm just gonna be playing just kind of a course vlog style. We're coming off of a lot of really good golf and we were taking our trip in towards LA. Denver was awesome, LA was awesome, but I have not played since that. And obviously for the recording purposes, you're not gonna really know what the delay looks like, but that was over a week and a half ago. So these are kind of the first swings that I'm gonna be able to have since playing out on that trip. So it'll be an interesting round. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this one though. So if it's your first time here, I really hope you guys enjoy it. Welcome again, absolutely a pleasure to have you. Let's get at it. Hole number one is gonna be a par four, 384. We're playing the blue tees here, which is 6,800 yards, 72.2 is the adjustment. So that's what we got in front of us. Let's go at it, let's have some fun. Deep stuff. It's gonna take a, quite a hack to get this up. Tough shot. It's not bad, we'll take that. Tall stuff really grabbed the club, so shut me down and pulled me left a little bit, but we got a putt, I think, so should be pretty good. Let's see if we can still save par. the first tough uh, second shot approach shots are going to, have to be good today that's the thing that really kind of hung us up both in LA and in Denver but hey we still scrambled we hit absolutely zero putts before we went on didn't even take any swings so that's not bad for a first overall hole going on to the second we got a pretty hefty mid 500s par 5 coming up let's let it rip see if the driver still stays straight uh oh We got a long way to go. I'm not going to be able to get there. It's like 310. Wind is hurting. Um, I don't want to hit three wood out of this rough. I'm actually going to try for the five wood. See if we can just put something up past the 150 yard mark stick. Yeah, I played left side. It should hold the fairway. At least I hope. It looks like it starts to slant down. Uh, should have a pretty good angle at the green from there. Let's go. All right, back pin position. Just off the fairway, we got about 115. Can the go sandwich still? The wind is swirling. Hopefully, it helps with the way there. Bruh. Oh my gosh. Oh. You're over. <laughs> <laughs> I've never hit this thing so thin in my life. That's two hits, two in a row. All right, we went way over the back. Uh, got a long way. Not a great camera angle here, so apologies for it, but wanted to at least catch it on. Uh, Let's catch the swing on camera. It's short. Didn't quite get all the way there. Kind of show you guys where it's at. Just over to the left side here. Not great. I, I didn't really know what distance we were looking at. Just kind of took a feel shot at it and it did not pay off. So tough. Yeah. So now we got to chip this sucker in. Let's go. Much better. You're in though. You're good. Oof. 
I got 186. We're hitting six iron. I don't know if we can really get to the pin from here, so we're just gonna try to keep it in between the bunkers. Humiliation. Jeez, All right, our iron contact has not been great. We're gonna take pitching wedge here. Got some mud on the ball, a little uphill, wind is hurting, all the things. So easy swing here at the pitching wedge. Look at this dude. dude. Not going to the range for four round. It's really getting to me right now. We are not hitting anything well. We had a couple of good drives, sure, but all of our irons have been not good. All right, another thick lie just past the point of an easy chip. So we're gonna try to loft this thing up probably pretty close. The green is sloping back towards me. So we definitely want to try to get something a little bit up closer to the pin, see if it'll sit, hold. Like right there. Yep, there's a right. <laughs> Rolled out more than I thought. Tough shot. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Need a big regain here. We got a par five, another big long one. These par fives have been juicy to say the least. It's against the wind. I'm gonna try to carry the bunker, but we'll see. Definitely don't try to stay to the left. Oh, well, there's water left, so the miss would be right. That much is for sure. And the guy at the clubhouse did say that the fairway bunkers are unplayable because they are under repair. So even if we find ourselves in the bunker, I guess we have relief. <laughs> Just good news. Tree trouble here, boys and girls. You might not be able to see the shot from the camera angle. We're gonna hit six iron and see if we can just get this thing probably over the trees, honestly. Oh, don't you dare go long, though. Left eye, stay there. You might be okay. At least we got good contact, man. Not been good so far, not been good. Gotta get on my own head, regain, figure it out. Let's go find it, let's go hit it again, average golfers. That's the thing, gotta stay positive out there. This round could spiral out of control really quickly, but throw a smile on the face, find the ball, hit it again. That's all you can ask for. All right, we did find it, it's in play, just barely, tough lie, 156 against the wind. And with the lie, we're gonna hit seven. We just gotta get good contact, that's it, good contact. Not get good contact. <laughs> oh my gosh. Still got like 90 yards left. Wind hurting. Sand wedge cannot top this. That sucker got up there in the sky and the wind just did not want to let it go. I hit that really, really high. <laughs> Not good, chip and putt from here. Nice chip. Nice shot. Not enough. Oh. Take that though. Oh. Man, it didn't break ball for me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was double on a par five. that so well too man all right dropping two hitting three here tough pin location honestly
good or not. Hit it well. All right, so after the second tee shot, that was three off the tee box, four from that back corner, we are now chipping five. Man, this has not been a very great round so far, but all it takes is one good shot, and we can walk away at least a little bit more happy. So here we go. Let's do it right here. approachable number of shots. Short game has been really good. Really, really good. It's just drivers starting to lose us. We've had a, a number of really poor shots out of the fairway. Not even the fairway, just bad second shots. Uh, so if we can just fix that, we'll be fine. Coming up next, we do have a par four. Uh, looks like we... I'm not sure about carrying these bunkers or not. We'll take a look to see what the yardage is. But the whole goal coming up, I just want to hit a draw. We're going to do everything we can to just push the club out to the right, so hit a bit of a draw, bunkers, see what happens. All right, about 210, out of the rough. I'm gonna hit the same club, just gonna hit five wood again. Oh yeah. Little left. Alan, you're, ah, that's so good though. I could throw the that's bunker. That's a good swing. Yeah. Well, we avoided the bunker, but I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> five wood did go about pin high. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, from where I hit that ball, I, I thought that this bunker was much shorter of the green some kind of visual optic deceivery going on here. So we ended up pin high with this five wood. Chipping's been good. We could still get in here, save par, maybe even make one for bird, you know? What do you think about that? Sweet. Yeah. Hard live, but I think you hit these. All right, you heard it here first. Yeah, it wasn't really a bump, but that's we'll take that. Sit, sit. sit. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was afraid of. Fight. I got 182. Uh, I feel very uncomfortable hitting a four hybrid here, but with how strong the wind has been, this might be the only play available. It's about 204 to the back as well, so I shouldn't go over. So we're hitting four hybrid. I think that's really good. Based on the line, I didn't I didn't see it come down, but based on the line and how I hit it, that should be really good. Just comes down to how much roll did I get and how much did the wind hold up on it? Because I hit that thing pure, absolutely pure. So here's hoping we have a shot for birdie to try to close out this front nine. It has been a day, friends. My gosh, by far the worst nine that I've played in a long time. We haven't hit anything at or below par yet. Everything has been above par. So it's been a really rough round, but I haven't swung a club like a week and a half. So that's kind of what you would expect, I think, generally speaking. So well, something else. Maybe we can still finish off with something nice here at the end. Oh, man, you don't, don't leave birdie putt short. You don't love him six feet long either. <laughs> All right, par to finish, average golfers. Not a uh, great front nine. Well, not the front nine that we would like. Cumberland Trail is absolutely winning this round at the moment, but we're having a lot of fun. It's 14 over through the front nine, which is what we're trying to shoot for through 18. We only had one single score that was not over par, and it was on the last, which is good news. So overall, if you want to review over some of the moments that we had, largely everything we had from the short game, putting, chipping, looked pretty darn good overall. A couple of chips were left short. We didn't get a lot of time. We actually got no time. We had no warm-up swings, no warm-up pups, no warm-up chips, nothing like that. So the fact that 
you know, we're leaving things a little bit short. I think that's generally okay. We're getting good rolls, we're getting good reads. Driver's a problem. Um, <laughs> driver's a problem. That's pretty much all you could say about the driver at the moment. Not really sure what I'm doing wrong. I'll have to review over the footage to kind of see if I'm still coming over the top or if I'm just rolling the club face open. Uh, hard to say. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video again. Welcome if you're a new person here to the Perfectly Average Golf. We're all about having fun and taking away positives and the big positive short game. We love the short game right now. So hopefully we can keep rolling that in and hopefully you guys will come right back to that point though. Make sure you guys out there stay perfectly average.